Okay. Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining me today on this makeup session uh, for the Hawaiian Islands. Uh, today, we are covering the Maui Nui Group and Hawaii, the big island. So we will go over to travelagentacademy.com, click on, actually, that was a bubble right there. So I'm just going to go back get started with the Hawaiian Islands. Uh, now for myself, my course is going to show it is already complete because I did finish this certification prior to this training, uh, but we're all here to help Marnie get caught up and stay on schedule with these certifications and Hawaii is something we started a um, couple months ago. So if we can finish this today, that would be very helpful uh, for her, okay. So I'm gonna go down here. So you can see there's other courses that you do need to take in order to access the island specialties. Uh, certification one and certification two, as you can see here, these two are the base certification. So once you complete them, you will be a certified Hawaiian travel agent. However, if you go on further to Kauai, Oahu, Maui Nui, and the island of Hawaii, you'll get an individual certification for each island, as well as a, an overall certification designating you as a Hawaiian specialist um, with that. So you get uh, lots of certificates to download um, once you complete everything. All right, so we'll start with chapter one, Maui Nui. Uh, and this is a group effort. So uh, even though Christine and I have done this a couple months ago, uh, Stephanie, as you follow along, you know, take screenshots, uh, make notes, however you want to do it. And uh, when we get to the quiz at the end of each section, hopefully we all get 100%. I'll be pretty embarrassed if I don't get 100% <laughs> on, <laughs> on Hawaii at this point. All right. Okay. So it looks like there's, oh yeah, there's audio here on this one. So I'll turn my volume up. I'm um, not sure if anyone's going to be able to hear it. Welcome to Certification 5 of the Hawaii Destination Specialist Training Program. Did anyone hear that? Yes. Okay. Yes. Good. Just making sure I have my earbuds in, so I wanted to make sure. In the first certification, we gave you an overview of Hawaii, including the reasons for selling it to your clients. We talked about the accommodations, geography, culture, and history, plus the activities and attractions of each of the six major islands. In certification two, we explored the main traveler types that comprise the Hawaii customer, as well as how to market to them and provide unforgettable experiences. To wrap it up, we discussed cross-selling and upselling opportunities that will boost your profitability and create better Hawaii vacation experiences for your clients. Now it's time for more in-depth training on each of the major islands. We'll dig deep into the history and cultural significance of each island, plus the attractions, events, and activities that make it a rewarding destination for you and your clients. Certification 5 and its four chapters are devoted to Maui Nui, which are the islands of Maui, Molokai, and Lanai, while other certifications address Kauai, Oahu, and Hawaii Island. So, let's get started. Okay. Okay, chapter one, why Maui Nui? Encompassing the islands of Maui, Molokai, and Lanai, Maui Nui gives your clients three diverse and enchanting destinations in one. Whether they choose to visit one island for an in-depth experience or enjoy the contrast of visiting two or three islands on the same trip, clients will find Maui Nui to be everything they could hope for from a Hawaiian island vacation. While each has its own distinct personality, what all the islands share is a native host culture with its time-honored traditions of aloha and ho'okipa, which means welcome to hospitality. Okay. Just on Maui alone are countless visitor experiences that reflect its astonishing diversity of landscape and culture. Ideal for travelers seeking variety and spontaneous adventures, Maui has it all. There are the opportunities to bow to the majesty of a cosmic sunrise at Haleakala Crater and delight in the charming and remote village of Heavenly Hana, reached by taking one of the world's most scenic drives. Your clients will be equally charmed by the Paniolo, cowboy culture, still alive in the upcountry town of Kauau, 
where some still ride horses down the main street with its hitching posts outside the rustic storefronts. Maui, along with Molokai and Lanai, is also known for unparalleled marine life experiences, with superb snorkeling sites and waters teeming with humpback whales during winter and spring. Added to that are year-round cultural events and festivities. In different ways, Lanai and Molokai appeal to those looking for a quieter Hawaii experience completely removed from the hustle and bustle of modern life. For the upscale traveler seeking pampered serenity in a relaxed but far from a dull atmosphere, Lanai is an ideal choice. Combining sophistication with a glorious natural setting and off-road adventure, Lanai embodies the Hawaii experience in perfect balance. Rich in Hawaiian culture and history, and free from congestion and pollution, Molokai is ideal for those who enjoy getting off the beaten path to discover a Hawaii of quiet open woods and pristine landscapes. In contrast to the upscale resorts available on both Maui and Lanai, Molokai features a small hotel and condominium properties for a more rustic but comfortable experience. The experiences provided by the islands of Maui Nui are so varied that one trip will just whet the appetite for more. Every land, ocean, or air activity imaginable is available on one or more of the three islands, including exquisite resorts offering exceptional service, incomparable golf on championship courses, delightful small towns, and hip beach havens. If clients only visited one Maui Nui island during a previous trip, a repeat visit offers an opportunity to mix it up by experiencing an entirely new destination. With the three islands so close to one another, flights and ferry service make it easy and convenient for day trips or multi-night stays that encompass two or more islands during the same trip. Okay. All right, chapter one, key takeaways. A trip to Maui Nui gives your clients three diverse and enchanting destinations in one, Maui, Molokai, and Lanai. All the islands share a native host culture of time-honored traditions of aloha and ho'okipa. Oh boy, this is going to go well. Which means welcome. <laughs> Lanai and Molokai appeal to those looking for a quieter Hawaii experience completely removed from the hustle and bustle of modern life. Okay, I see Jana just joined. Hello, Jana. All right, Congratu Hi. congratulations. You have completed chapter one of the Maui Nui Specialist Certification course. Take this short quiz before proceeding to the next chapter. Jana, are you following along with us? Are you? Yeah. Okay, perfect. All right, start quiz. Clients who are not bothered by a lack of upscale resorts are best suited for which part of Maui Nui? Lanai, Molokai, Hana, or Wailea? Anyone remember? I think it was Lanai. It's either no, I was wrong. <laughs> oh, this is gonna go well. It's either Lanai or Molokai. Okay. But I thought it was both. I thought it was both too. All right. Well, I think Hawaii is the one that we can go back and redo the test. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. This is not going well. I'm so sorry, Marnie. <laughs> okay. Uh, Maui is ideal for clients seeking a wide variety of landscapes and experiences. True or false? True. 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 Yay. Okay. Redemption there. <laughs> okay. Next question. What town in Maui all, most reflects the island's Paniolo cowboy heritage? Makawao, uh, Hana, La Hanai, La, yeah, uh, Wailuku. I think it was the, I think it was A. A. Yay. Going good. Lanai is not a good choice for clients who want to combine an upscale resort stay with off the beaten path experiences, true or false. Lanai is not a good choice for clients who want to do that. True. I think they only have one resort there. Okay, true. 
True. Uh, oh, yes. it was false. Oh. Well, I haven't clicked the next question yet, so oh. <laughs> it, it just automatically decided for us. Huh. Nice. Okay, I guess it's All false. Right. Okay, combining two or more of the Maui Nui Islands is difficult during one trip. True or false? False. False. Right. I, they're all in a cluster, I think. Okay. See results. Oh, you, you did, did not pass. pass. <laughs> I promise I passed the first time when I did this. All right, let's retake the quiz. <laughs> let's retake the quiz. Okay. Clients who are not bothered by a lack of upscale resorts are best suited for which part of Maui Nui? Would that be the Molokai? Would I that guess. Be that island? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's Got that one. Maui is ideal for clients seeking a wide variety of landscapes and experience. That was true. Uh, what town reflects the cowboy heritage? That was letter A. Yeah. Makawao. Okay. And okay. this one is supposed to be false. This one I is supposed. Okay. Lanai is not a good. Okay. Okay. Now I see. All right. The language. Marnie is always right. They're confusing questions. Okay. And combining two or more is difficult. No, it's not. Yay, 100% this time. Okay. Yay. Did everyone get that? Everyone yes. pass. Um, and if you can't access this course, um, at least you have the correct answers. So when you go back and take them, you won't be like what I just did. <laughs> okay. All right, everyone ready to move on? I yes. am. Okay. I am. Perfect. All right, we'll go to chapter two. And I forgot how nice it was with the Hawaii course that most of them you're read to. You get to play this little audio. Perfect. Okay, culture and personality of Maui Nui. Welcome to chapter two in certification five, your in-depth training on Maui, Molokai, and Lanai, the islands collectively known as Maui Nui. In this chapter, we'll explore some of the specific reasons why your clients will enjoy Maui Nui, including its signature attractions. We'll also talk a little bit about what makes these islands special in terms of their history and cultural importance. So, let's get started. Collectively, the cluster of nearby islands, Maui, Molokai, Lanai, Ko'olawe, and the small island of Molokini comprise Maui County also known as Maui Nui, which means Greater Maui. Of the five, the three open to visitors are Maui, Lanai, and Molokai. Koholawi and Molokini are uninhabited and may be viewed by boat. Originally, the five were all part of a single landmass created by underwater volcanoes that eventually broke apart and formed these alluring islands. Each island is unique with its own personality and distinctive array of attributes for your clients to see and experience. With a land area of 729 square miles, Maui is the second largest of the Hawaiian Islands and the second only to Oahu in terms of tourism infrastructure. Even so, just 25% of the island is inhabited, making for an ideal balance of cultural and natural attractions. While tourism is its leading industry, diversified agriculture and a thriving local art scene are also very important to the island. As a result, Clients will find an array of farm-to-table experiences as well as historic and arts-related diversions. Sophisticated resorts with fine dining and shopping are within easy striking distance of pristine natural areas, ranchlands, and upcountry towns with rustic charm all their own. Lanai and Molokai, the smallest of the six major Hawaiian islands, are both places where clients will find a slower pace and a window onto an earlier Hawaii. However, each is very different from the other. Lanai has made a remarkable transition from pineapple agriculture to tourism, offering two upscale resorts and a quaint hotel, remote beaches, red dirt mountain trails, and pine forests. Clients will feel that they have found their own private island. Molokai, which has no large resort hotels, offers clients a sense of discovery. With its country roads, family farms, and areas of jaw-dropping scenic beauty and sacred heritage. 
According to legend, the island of Maui was named after the demigod Maui who pulled the Hawaiian islands from the sea. The shape of the island is said to resemble the shape of his head and body. For many centuries, Maui was two separate kingdoms that vied with each other for supremacy. In the 15th century, the island was finally unified under King Pi'ilani, an innovative ruler who built fish ponds, irrigation systems, and roads. In 1790, King Kamehameha I invaded the island and defeated his Maui rivals at an historic battle in Iao Valley, a beautiful site that is now a state park. Kamehameha I made Lahaina the capital of the Hawaiian kingdom in 1802, which it remained until King Kamehameha III, also known as Kawike Uli, moved the seat of the government to Honolulu in 1845. Lahaina was also the epicenter of the booming whaling industry, which infused the town with a rollicking atmosphere that dismayed the New England missionaries who arrived there in 1823. Now a national historic landmark, Lahaina is filled with sites from its colorful past that your clients will enjoy visiting. As whaling declined in the mid-19th century, the sugarcane oh, industry made importance on Maui, drawing immigrants from Japan, China, Puerto Rico, the Philippines, Korea, and Portugal to work in the plantation fields. Their diverse cultures and cuisines became part of the vibrant ethnic mix that flourishes in Maui today. Maui's modern tourism industry was established with the opening of the Kaanapali Resort in 1961, the first master-planned resort in the state. The Wailea, Kapalua, and Makena resorts followed in subsequent years, helping to establish Maui as a worldwide magnet for visitors. Long an agrarian island of fishing and farming, Molokai records its earliest community as dating back to about 650 AD or earlier in Halava Valley on the eastern end of the island. Visitors can still explore this fascinating area today, as well as the ancient Hawaiian fish ponds along the southern coast. Also in this area is Kalua Aha Church, established by New England missionaries in 1833. Kamehameha V, who lived on the island while still a prince, is the Hawaiian king most closely associated with Molokai. Hundreds of coconut trees planted in his honor can still be seen in the Kapua Iva Coconut Grove. But Molokai's most famous residents are St. Damien and St. Marianne, who cared for sufferers of Hansen's disease at the current site of Kalau Papa National Historical Park. Lanai was a sovereign land until King Kamehameha I united the Hawaiian Islands under his rule in 1810. Near the southern coast, his legacy lives on in the remains of Kaunolu, an ancient fishing village and sacred place that was a favorite retreat of the king. After European contact, much of Lanai became a cattle ranch under the management of George Munro, who planted the first of the many Cook Island pines dotting the island. Munro Trail is a popular hiking area that leads to Lanai Hale, the island's highest point. In the early 20th century, James Dole, who had already established a thriving pineapple industry on Oahu, expanded these operations to Lanai. This led to the establishment of a 19,000-acre pineapple plantation and a company town called Lanai City, still the only town on the island. By the time pineapple operations shut down in 1993, tourism had already begun to take over as Lanai's chief industry with the development of two upscale resort hotels. In 2012, tech magnate Larry Ellison purchased 98% of the island, including its hotels. The remainder is owned by the state of Hawaii. Kahului Airport in the central Maui town of Kahului is the major gateway, direct and non-stop service from the U.S. mainland, as well as from Honolulu International Airport and mm -hmm. airports on the neighbor islands. There's also a smaller airport in West Maui near Kapalua and a commuter airport in Hana. Flight time between Honolulu and Maui averages around 40 minutes. Maui is also connected by ferry to both Lanai and Molokai, with service operating out of Lahaina Harbor. This can be a day trip option for clients, as well as a flight alternative. The scenic voyages which cross the Ao Ao Channel take one hour to reach Lanai and 90 minutes to reach Molokai. The channel is a prime place for spotting whales in the winter and early spring. Clients can travel to resorts and other points on the island from Kahulu Airport via taxis, private limousines, airport shuttle services, and van services for visitors with special transportation needs. Service desks for these are located in the baggage claim area. Renting a car is the best and most flexible option for traveling around Maui. All the major car rental companies are represented on the island, including locations in or near the Kahului and West Maui airports, and in many major resort hotels in West Maui and South Maui. 
Some of the local rental companies also offer specialized vehicles such as four-wheel drive Jeeps, exotic cars, motorcycles, and vans. Public transit service is offered by the Maui Bus, which is operated by Robert Salei. It offers 13 routes in and between various communities, including Kapalua, Kalnapali, Wailuku, Kihei, Lahaina, and upcountry Maui. Two of the routes stop at Kahului Airport. Clients can fly into Lanai Airport from either Honolulu International Airport or Maui's Kahului Airport, or they can arrive by ferry into Manele's small boat harbor from Lahaina. Lanai has a convenient transportation system available through the Four Seasons Resorts. Resort guests can hop aboard the island shuttle, an easy way to go from the airport to the two Four Seasons properties, Lanai City and Manele Small Boat Harbor. Private transportation is also available for a fee, offering the opportunity to arrange custom island tours or to explore the island for a day. Rental cars are available in Lanai City. Clients who want to explore the island's many unpaved roads will want to choose a four-wheel drive vehicle. Clients can fly into Molokai Airport from either Honolulu International Airport or Maui's Kahului Airport. They can also take the Molokai Princess Ferry from Lahaina Harbor on Maui, which makes the 90-minute trip twice daily Monday through Saturday and once on Sunday afternoon. Because other forms of transportation are very limited, car rental is even more of a preferred option on Molokai than on the other islands. While not necessary on most of the island, a four-wheel drive vehicle is a good option for some areas. Maui. Maui has four master-planned resort communities, all located along the sunny west side of the island. Kapalua and Ka'anapali are on the northwest coast, while Wailea and Makena are on the southwest coast. They all contain a complete array of upscale accommodations, private residences, ocean sport activities, golf courses, tennis facilities, shops, dining, meeting, and wedding facilities, spas, in-resort transportation and services. As a general guideline, these resort communities are ideal for clients seeking an upscale, service-oriented experience. Neighboring these master-planned resorts are community resort areas. Napili, Kahana, Lahaina, Onokawai, and Kihei all offer a broad range of accommodation choices in various price categories. In contrast to the major resorts, they tend to have more condominium properties than hotels. Clients seeking the ultimate in seclusion will find it in Hana which offers upscale resort accommodations along with vacation rentals and bed and breakfast facilities on Maui's northeastern tip. Molokai has no real resort areas to speak of, which is truly part of its allure for clients seeking an off-the-beaten-path experience. The majority of accommodations are found in its two principal towns, Kaunakakai on the south-central coast and Kuluakoi in its western interior. The island has just one hotel, but condominiums and other vacation rentals are available. The island's only town is Lanai City, a charming enclave that includes the intimate and historic Hotel Lanai. Just outside of town is the upcountry Four Seasons Resort Lanai Lodge at Koele, while the Four Seasons Resort Lanai at Manale Bay is a few miles away on the south coast. In addition to these three hotels, the island has bed and breakfasts and home rentals available, including upscale units at Koeli and Manali Bay, plus more moderate choices in Lanai City. Okay, looks like we're done. Go to the next page. Okay. Lahaina. With a long and colorful past that included eras as the royal capital of the Hawaiian kingdom and the epicenter of the Pacific whaling industry, it's not surprising that much of Lahaina is a national historic landmark. It's also the West Maui hub for dining, entertainment, and a variety of water sports and excursions that include whale watching, snorkel trips, and sunset dinner cruises. It's filled with sites where visitors can learn about Maui's rich monarchy and missionary era, whaling history, and multicultural past. These include the Baldwin House Museum, which contains missionary-era memorabilia, furnishings and artwork, and Halipa'i, the house of printing, the site of Hawaii's first published newspaper. Lahaina's old-fashioned wooden buildings also house an eclectic assortment of cafes, restaurants, art galleries, and boutiques. No less lively at night, Lahaina draws visitors to its acclaimed restaurants, clubs, and bars, as well as to popular evening shows. 
Haleakala National Park. Surrounding the enormous volcanic crater of Haleakala, the park dominates the eastern side of Maui and is the island's most popular visitor attraction. The name Haleakala literally means House of the Sun, which may explain why millions of visitors take a guided tour or make the winding drive to the 10,023-foot-high summit for watching the sun as it seemingly rises from within the crater. The distinctive silver sword plant and the little nene goose, the state bird of Hawaii, are among the rare features of Haleakala. While the view from the summit is well worth the trip, clients need to plan at least a two-hour driving time from west side resort areas. The park offers camping facilities, rugged hiking trails, ranger-led talks and guided hikes, horseback riding excursions, and a visitor center. There's plenty else to explore on the wide slopes of Haleakala. Clients can stop in and visit the rich assortment of farms and flower fields around Kula, tour and sample goat cheese at Surfing Goat Dairy Farm, or walk among the fragrant fields of Ali'i Kula Lavender Farm. The region is also where visitors can taste award-winning vodkas and rum at Ocean Vodka or sample the pineapple wine at Maui's Winery, also known as Tadeshi Vineyards. You'll also want to linger a while in Makawao to explore art galleries and boutiques of this quaint town whose cowboy or paniolo heritage is celebrated every 4th of July with the Makawao Parade and Rodeo. Just outside town, the Hui Noiao Visual Art Center is a nine-acre estate offering artist workshops, lectures, and exhibits in visual media. Maui's county seat of Wailuku and air gateway of Kahului are neighboring towns centered on the broad green plains of central Maui. Clients with an interest in collectibles will want to spend some time in Wailuku, where North Market Street is lined with antique shops, galleries, and secondhand stores loaded with art pieces and other treasures. Just outside Kahului, the Alexander and Baldwin Sugar Museum is where visitors can learn about the history of Maui's sugarcane industry and the daily life of plantation workers who settled on the island in the 19th century. Outside Wailuku, Yao Valley State Park is an arrestingly beautiful spot of wild guava trees near vertical emerald green canyon walls and the Yao Needle, a 2,250-foot-high monolith that stands like a sentinel watching over the valley. Nearby is the Maui Hawaiian Village, a cultural site of thatched hale, which means houses or shelters, set deep in a pristine valley where interpreters demonstrate traditional Hawaiian arts and practices such as poi pounding, kapa, or cloth making, and hula. Also in central Maui, the Maui Tropical Plantation is a 60-acre working plantation where visitors can enjoy craft demonstrations and a tram ride through cane fields and orchards with narration about the growing process and plant types. The gift shop sells a variety of food products made on Maui. The Serpentine Hana Highway, one of the most spectacular and slowest drives in the world, starts in Kahului and snakes along 54 miles of East Maui coastline, past lush vegetation and countless waterfalls. This spectacular drive can take from three to four hours, depending on the number of stops along the way. You can find a tour to book for your clients, hire a private driver, or just make sure they have a great rental car to truly enjoy this experience. Clients can also choose to fly into Hana a small community where they will find an upscale hotel, red and black sand beaches, and a handful of one-of-a-kind shops and restaurants. The Hana Cultural Center offers a look at the history of this remote and enchanting area through exhibits of vintage photographs, stone tools, hand-stitched quilts, ancient Hawaiian games, and the birthplace of Queen Kahumanu. A few miles beyond Hana, the highway ends at the Oheo Gulch, where seven freshwater pools cascade from natural terraces through the bamboo forests of the Kipahulu Valley. Just beyond, at mile marker 41, is the Palapala Ho'omau Congregational Church and the gravesite of aviator Charles Lindbergh, a Hana resident until his death in 1974. With more than 30 miles of paved roads and one town, Lanai appeals with its natural and unspoiled beauty. Built in 1924 as a company town, Lanai City is a pleasant place to stroll to shops, galleries, and cafes clustered around Dole Park, a central plaza shaded by towering Cook Island pines. With the island's most accessible beach, Hulapoi Bay is a great place for swimming and snorkeling, as well as for viewing spinner dolphins, whales, and other marine life. It's been named America's Best Beach by Dr. Stephen Leatherman, a.k.a. Dr. Beach. Kaiolohia, named for an ancient vessel that sits abandoned offshore, is an eight-mile stretch of sand on the northwest coastline. 
Beautiful White Sand Polihua Beach on the island's northwest shore is a nesting ground for green sea turtles. On the way to Polihua is Lanai's most popular attraction, Keahiaka Velo, an arresting landscape of moonlight buttes and spires where natural minerals in the soil have produced shades of red, lavender, brown, ochre, and purple. If you add this to your client's plans, be sure to book them with a four-wheel drive vehicle or a tour for this trip. On the southwest shore, the remains of Kauna Olua, an ancient fishing village and place of refuge, sit high on a bluff overlooking the ocean. Clients will find petroglyphs, a heiau, or temple, and other fascinating remains. North and central Molokai, one of the world's most isolated and beautiful spots, Kalaupapa National Historic Park, is devoted to the history of St. Damien and has worked with the sufferers of Hansen's disease in the 19th century. The Belgian priest was canonized and became the Hawaiian Islands' first saint. Although still a restricted area, visitors who are 16 and older can take guided tours of the park with Damien tours. A thrilling way to reach Kalaupapa is by taking a mule ride down the 26 switchbacks on a very steep cliff where there are breathtaking views of the peninsula below and the world's highest sea cliffs. Clients can also view the peninsula from the Kalaupapa lookout at Palaau State Park. Managed by the Nature Conservancy, the Komako Preserve is a 3,000-acre refuge for 250 rare plants, most of them unique to Hawaii. Guided hikes by the Conservancy should be booked far in advance. Near the entrance to the preserve, the Vaikolu Valley Lookout offers a sweeping panorama of steep-sided canyons with cascading waterfalls, fern grottos, and wild ginger. Clients will need a four-wheel drive vehicle to reach the preserve. Also in this part of the island are two attractions that celebrate its agricultural heritage. At the R.W. Meyer Sugar Mill Museum and Molokai Museum and Culture Center, visitors can tour a restored 19th century sugar mill that's the oldest in Hawaii. At Coffees of Hawaii, a 100-acre coffee plantation offers an espresso bar and gift shop. Konakakai is a genuine country town of tin roof buildings where visitors can shop for souvenirs, island-grown coffee, and macadamia nuts, and sample the famous Molokai sweet bread at Kanemitsu Bakery. Konakakai Harbor boasts the longest fishing pier in the state and is also a place where clients will find an array of fishing, snorkeling, whale watching, and sightseeing excursions. The long reef that extends from the harbor along the south shore is brimming with marine life. Heading east from Konakakai along Highway 450 is a lovely and historical coastal drive past two 19th century churches built by St. Damien, St. Damien St. Joseph Church and Our Lady of Sorrow Church. Also along the way are ancient heiau temple sites, mango groves, secluded beaches, and ancient Hawaiian fish ponds undergoing restoration. The route leads to the Halava Valley, the most accessible of Molokai's remote valleys, and a wonderful place to experience the culture and swimming at a beach park where the mouth of the Halava stream flows into the ocean. Guided hikes with a cultural interpreter are a great way for your clients to fully experience this special valley that's a living classroom. Hopefully, now you can start to envision all the incredible options that await your clients on our islands. In the next chapter, we'll explore activities and events, and then in the closing chapter, we'll bring it all together to help you create some itineraries for your customers. Be sure to check support materials in the resource library for all the useful share your aloha information that you'll definitely want to pass on. Okay. Next page. All right, key takeaways. Takeaway number one, Maui, Molokai, and Lanai are collectively known as Maui Nui, Greater Maui, and are all part of Maui County. Lahainai, Lahaina, historic attractions reflect its importance as a whaling port and capital of the Hawaiian kingdom in the early 19th century. Maui's Hala, Hali Akala National Park and the nearby upcountry towns offer more for visitors to explore. Lanai is known for its unspoiled beaches and lush interior landscapes. And Molokai lets visitors step back in time with its quaint small towns, historic churches, and cultural sites. Okay, I think the quiz would be next. Yep, okay, let's see how we do. Okay, 
The islands of Maui Nui were originally part of a single landmass, true or false? True, I think. I think you're right. I think that's what they said and then they broke apart. True. Okay. Yay. Okay. Which statement is true about Maui? It is the third largest Hawaiian island. It offers ferry service to Molokai, but not to Lanai. Kahului Airport is the major gateway. About 40% of the island is inhabited. So which one of those is true? So three are not true. I want to I say it's D or C. I, I'm thinking B because I remember there was a side note on the on the side of the. Yeah, I'm leaning more towards B. <laughs> OK, but I know it's one of those two. It's B or C because I know for sure it's not A and it's for sure it's not D. OK, all right, let's go. Let's go B, fair enough. Is everybody else in on that? <laughs> I, I don't think it's B. What do you think it is? Well, I, I think it might be C, but I was just gonna Google. Oh, Google, Google is our friend, very true. So, because I remember they said that the ferry service was not to Molokai right now. Right, so that's what this is. It's saying it goes, this one says that it goes to Molokai, but not to Lanai. So that's what I'm thinking is the false one that it goes to Lanai, but it doesn't go to Molokai, I think. Because I, right. I think that's the name of the airport. Yeah, that's the airport. So I think I'm, I'm going to go B. Let's see. Nope, still wrong. Okay. Is it the second largest then? It's C. It is C. And it is C. It, Maui is the second. Not okay. Huh. So then what would be the answer to this question, A or C? C? C. Okay. We'll go back and redo that one. Uh, how much time should visitors typically allow to drive the Hana Highway to Haleikala? Two oh, hours, yeah. three to four, six, a full day. I think they said uh, three to four. To drive the Hana Highway is, I've done it, so <laughs> it, it takes a while. I think it, it is, I think it is B. I think it's C too. So B? I think it's C. C? I don't know, what do, what do the others think? There's two other people. What's what are we voting for? <laughs> B. Uh huh. Okay. Well, I've been wrong a bunch of times before. So I know it was wrong. That was for sure. <laughs> yeah. Because it, it's a snake, right? It goes all. It's a lot of curves, a lot of turns. Yay! B was right. Okay, so three to four hours to drive wow. that highway. Okay. I guess, I guess that's if you have confidence, if you're <laughs> driving that. Okay. Uh, which site in Maui is known as a spectacular place to view a sunrise? 
Oh, Haleakala. So the, uh, letter B, the National yeah. Park? Okay. Definitely. Yes. Okay. Right. National Park, view a sunrise. Okay. Which of the following is not an important historic site in Maui Nui? Kalau Papa National Historic Park, a Baldwin Home Museum, Kaunalu, uh, the lighthouse. Anyone remember this one? Which one is I, not in Maui Nui? I don't remember. I think I remember them saying something about the Baldwin home. I think that's in Maui. But I, it can't be letter B. Yeah, Baldwin Home Museum is in Lahaina. Okay. So now, all right, let's do. The C is in Lanai. No, wait a minute. L Lanai City. Okay. All right. So B and C are out. So it has to be A or D. So now. Okay, it's uh, D, because that's in um, Kauai. Okay, so it's letter D, it's the lighthouse? Yeah, well, wait a minute. Let me make sure. Oh, come on, give me a break. Yep, that's D. That's the uh, D is Kauai. Okay. Yay! Thank you, Christine. You're welcome. Okay. Which of the following is an important cultural heritage site in Molokai? Halawa Valley, Garden of the Gods, Ohio Gulch, Alexander, and Ballroom Sugar Museum. Well, it's not D. Okay. I went to try and copy the, the name and, and it clicked it, so it's red. <laughs> so I've answered it wrong. Okay, so what, what are we left with? The valley, the gulch, and... Let me see here about... Okay, it's not C because that's on Mount. No, that's on. That's on Maui in Haleakala National Park. Okay, so that's on a different island. Okay, so it's not C. Is it the valley? That's what I'm looking for right now. Um, that's on Lanai. The Garden of the Gods is, that's um, on Lanai. Okay. So then we're left with the valley, correct? Letter A would have to be? I'm going to double check it just to make sure. Okay. Google is my friend. Yeah, that's on Molokai. Okay, so letter A, yes, correct. 
Yay. Next question. Okay, Lanai offers a convenient shuttle transportation system. True or false? You guys can figure that one. <laughs> well, I know, I know Molokai was all about renting a car. Right. Um, so I mean, okay. Lanai. Did Lanai, anyone remember? Did Lanai have the shuttle transportation or was that just Maui? Anyone else? I'm going to say no. I don't, just because Lanai and Molokai were more remote. So I'm, I'm going to say false. Let's see. No, There's okay. no, no public transportation on Lanai. I guess that you found that out. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And let's go back and redo this. So they were part, okay, part of a single landmass. Okay. So which statement is true? The airport has to be true, right? Because B was wrong, A was wrong, and D is wrong. So it has to be C. Yes. Okay. Airport is true. Uh, three to four hours for the highway. Uh, this is the national park to view a sunrise. Right. The lighthouse. The lighthouse is not on Maui Nui. Uh, the heritage site is the valley in Molokai. And the last one is true. Okay. All right, everyone okay with that? Yep. Okay. All right, so let's keep going. Okay, so this is activities and events on Maui Nui. And my memory must be going because I thought there was more information on the side here next to the pictures, but obviously I'm wrong. It's just captions. All right. Welcome to chapter three in certification five, your in-depth training on Maui Nui. In this chapter, we'll explore the activities and events that await your customers on our island. So let's get started. The ways for clients to get out and experience Maui Nui are many, whether it's by land, air, or ocean. Whenever possible, book these activities ahead of time to ensure that your clients have the best options available. A great source for local outfitters can be found under the Our Island section of agents.gohawaii.com, the HVCB's portal designed exclusively for our travel professional partners. To follow are a few of the most popular options water activities. Mid-November through mid-May brings amazing opportunities to see humpback whales cavorting in the channel between West Maui, Molokai, and Lanai. An estimated 3,000 humpback whales migrate to Maui from Alaska each year to breed and care for their calves in the warm, shallow waters. While the whales are easy to spot offshore, many whale-watching excursions are available from Lahaina and Ma'alaya harbors. This is the best way to witness the gentle marine giants spouting and breaching in the azure waters. Maui Nui offers superb areas for snorkeling and diving, including the waters off West Maui's major resort areas. For example, the waters off Makena are sometimes called Turtle Town because of their abundant sea turtles. The south coast of Molokai Fringe Reef and Lanai's Hulapoi Bay are also excellent snorkel and dive spots. Readily available boat excursions are the best way for your clients to observe this abundant marine life. Numerous other water activities include sunset cruises, parasailing, kite surfing, ocean kayaking, canoeing, and tide pool exploring. Without leaving the shore, clients can learn about Maui Nui's amazing marine life at the Maui Ocean Center, an impressive aquarium on Ma'alaya Bay that includes a walkthrough tank. 
They can learn more about the annual whale migration at the Whale Center of the Pacific's exhibits and interactive displays within the Kaanapali Beach Resort. Biking. All three Maui Nui Islands offer opportunities for cycling, with mountain bikes the best option for the many back roads and trails. Among the most celebrated cycling experiences are the bike tours that begin just outside of Haleakala National Park and continue down through upcountry Maui, with chances to stop in quaint towns and visit farms. Hiking. Maui Nui's many pristine and scenic areas are ideal to explore on foot. Hiking trails and guided walking tours can take your clients into underground lava tubes, through cloud forests and tropical wildernesses, across volcanic landscapes, along deserted coastlines, and across open ranch lands to pristine natural waterfalls. A good way to help your clients make the most of these experiences is to book a guided hike with a cultural expert who can interpret the remarkable vegetation and historic sites along the way. Horses and horseback riding. Horseback riding is an idyllic way to explore the ranch lands and interior backcountry of Maui Nui, with stables on all the islands offering guided rides for all skill levels. Both Maui and Molokai provide opportunities to experience Paniolo culture at ranches where cowboys teach the basics of working with cattle. Maui also offers a rare opportunity to learn about horse whispering, a gentle and increasingly popular form of horse training, and a life-enhancing lesson of learning to communicate effectively with another being. Golf. With 14 golf courses, Maui offers a wide range of choices for your clients. Among these are championship courses at the resorts of Makena, Wailea, Kaanapali, and Kapalua that feature a full range of instructional and clubhouse amenities. The municipal and community courses in central Maui, upcountry Maui, and Kihei offer great value for more moderate budgets. With sweeping coastline views, Mandalay Golf Course on Lanai is a championship course ranked among the world's finest by Golf Digest. Nestled above Lanai City, you'll also find Cavendish Golf Course, a free nine-hole municipal course. Molokai offers the nine-hole Ironwood Hills Golf Course that's set 1,200 feet above sea level in central Molokai. Zip lining. Several Maui companies offer breathtaking ocean and mountain views along zip line courses through forest canopies. Locations include Maui Tropical Plantation, the West Maui Mountains, and on the ranch lands of upcountry Maui. Some zipline experiences can be booked with other soft adventure components. Air tours. Helicopter tours are a popular activity on Maui, providing a way for clients to get a bird's eye view of inaccessible valleys, steep gorges, remote waterfalls, and neighboring islands. Visitors can also soar above rainforests and mountainous landscapes in a powered hang glider or sail 800 feet above the ocean in a parasail. You should book air activities for your clients well in advance as they sell out early. Spas. Resorts on Maui and Lanai are home to some of the top-ranked spas in the world. Some have extensive facilities with numerous treatment rooms, Japanese and European-style baths, saunas, and hydrospa pools. Others are more peaceful and intimate. All are staffed with trained professionals. Several also offer the option for an outdoor massage in an ocean view or garden hale or shelter. Maui also offers a number of retreat properties with an emphasis on yoga and other wellness programs. Maui Nui is the scene of year-round festivals and events that clients may want to enjoy during their stay. Just make sure to book their travel arrangements, especially accommodations, well in advance. For greater details on these and other events, go to the Festivals and Events section of agents.gohawaii.com. King Kamehameha Celebration. These festivities are held in June on Maui in commemoration of Hawaii's first monarch, King Kamehameha I. Festivals of Aloha. Held in September on Molokai and Lanai, and on Maui in October, these celebrations feature music, dance, parades, and other cultural events. Maui Film Festival. Held at Wailea Resort each June. This major international film festival features premieres and celebrity appearances held outdoors and under the stars. Hawaii Food and Wine Festival. Held in September on Maui, these gourmet extravaganzas showcase top chefs and culinary personalities from the U.S. and around the globe, master sommeliers, mixologists, farmers, exclusive dining opportunities, cooking demonstrations, and more. Kapalua Wine and Food Festival. 
Held in June, this celebrated Maui Fair Fest draws thousands of wine and food enthusiasts to events featuring noted chefs and master sommeliers. Ka'anapali Fresh, a culinary experience. Hosted by Maui's Ka'anapali Beach Resort, this August event highlights Ka'anapali chefs and farmers through farm tours, cooking and mixology demonstrations, gala dinners, and more. East Maui Taro Festival. This annual event in April celebrates taro, kalo in Hawaiian, with live music, hula, poi pounding, canoe races, taro pancakes, and other foods made from this local staple. Maui Ag Fest. Local farmers and noted chefs come together to honor Maui's agricultural bounty at this April event at Maui Tropical Plantation. Highlights include cooking demonstrations, food booths, livestock exhibits, and entertainment. Lanai Pineapple Festival. Celebrating the island's history of once being home to the largest pineapple plantation in the world, the annual festival features an array of local artisans, live entertainment, food booths, and pineapple cooking contests. Held around the 4th of July holiday, it ends with a spectacular fireworks show. Dining. Local snacks and specialties on all three Maui Nui Islands make for fun and delicious experiences. With their diverse ethnic heritage, the islands of Maui Nui are also ideal for enjoying a wide variety of dishes drawn from Chinese, Japanese, Filipino, Portuguese, Mexican, Italian, Thai, Korean, and Vietnamese cultures, plus a few combinations thereof. Urge clients to indulge in the cream-filled malasadas, Portuguese-style donuts, taste the award-winning vodka distilled on Maui, or slurp a shave ice. Tell them to take time out to linger at an intimate cafe in Lanai City. Or for a truly local ritual, join the late night line at the back door of Molokai's Kanemitsu Bakery for hot sweet bread fresh from the oven. The HRC, Hawaii Regional Cuisine Movement, started in Maui. So it's little wonder that the island offers an array of fine dining choices at restaurants run by HRC's renowned founding chefs. These restaurants take full advantage of the wonderful produce, seafood, and meats raised on Maui. While Lanai has far fewer restaurants than Maui, it also offers fine dining choices at its two luxury hotels and in Lanai City. Maui Nui is an agricultural wonderland famous for its sweet onions, heirloom tomatoes, coffee, macadamia nuts, and other delicious specialties. An array of farm visits are available on Maui where clients will find such products as lavender, goat cheese, and diverse produce. Farm tours can even include an outdoor lunch featuring locally grown produce prepared by a leading chef. On Molokai, clients can tour farms devoted to coffee, macadamia nuts, and other island-grown specialties. Entertainment. Other than Oahu, no island offers more nightlife choices than Maui. The impressive Maui Arts and Cultural Center in Kahului delivers a year-round schedule of music, dance, and stage productions in its excellent theater facilities. In Lahaina, Ulalena at the Maui Theater and Warren and Annabelle's Magic Show are among the island's most popular evening shows. You can also book your clients a luau experience in Lahaina and at many of the island's resort hotels. Maui is a magnet for musicians from around the world, so it's little wonder that great live music, including Hawaiian, jazz, classical, and rock, can be found in informal venues like hotel lounges, restaurants, open-air bars, and clubs. Fans of performing arts can enjoy stage productions presented by the Maui Community Theater, Iao Theater, and seasonally at the Maui Academy of Arts. Shopping. A shopper's paradise, Maui offers everything from souvenirs to fine original art and top designer labels from around the world. All of the major resorts offer extensive retail areas with fine shops, while large malls are available in Lahaina and Kahului. One-of-a-kind shops abound in towns throughout Maui, with Wailuku especially known for its antique shops and Lahaina for its dozens of art galleries. Towns like Makawao, Kihei, Paia, Napili, Lanai City, and Kaunakakai are great places to shop for locally made items. All right, takeaways for Chapter 3. From mid-November to mid-May, Maui Nui is a prime place for spotting humpback whales that migrate here to give birth and frolic in the warm waters. Okay, so winter time for whale watching. Maui is second only to Oahu in its choices for evening entertainment. Maui is known for its award-winning resort spas as well as retreats for yoga and other wellness activities. Maui is the birthplace of Hawaii regional cuisine and many HRC chefs have restaurants on the island. I think I remember that being a question, but could be wrong. 
and golfers will find a wide variety of courses throughout Maui Nui. And I think the golf courses they said were on all three islands in the group. Yes. Okay, good. All right, time for the quiz. Let's see if we get any better at this. Okay. Oh, here we go. The Hawaii regional uh, cuisine movement started in Maui. That is true. True. Yes. See, I remember food. I don't remember anything else. <laughs> and here's your whale watching. Here's the whale watching. The best time for whale watching in Maui Nui is during the summer. False. Well, that is false. Does it make sense when the waters get cold up here, they go down south in the winter. Which of the following is an activity option available on all three of the Maui Nui Islands? Snorkeling, horseback riding, golf, or all of the above? All of the above. Yes. The Aloha Festival takes place on Maui, but not on Molokai or Lanai. True or false? Anyone remember that? I know there was a long list of festivals. False. It's false? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so Aloha Festival takes place on all three of them. Okay. And last question. Maui has a lot to offer clients who enjoy nightlife, true or false? I think it was true, because I think it said it was only second to Oahu. It's true. Yay. Is this the first time we got 100%? <laughs> Yay. That's awesome. OK, anyone need to go back over the questions, or are we all good? I'm good. Good? Good? OK, awesome. All right, moving forward. OK, I think this is the last section of the course. This is the last chapter on this um, island. OK, so last chapter on Maui Nui. Awesome. Right. And then we'll take a pause. We'll see where everyone is. If you want to stop, that's fine. We'll cut it. Um, if you want to go on and do the big island, we could do that too. Okay. There's four chapters on that one as well. Oh boy. Okay. So we'll take a poll after this one and see where everyone is. But, but I have all the answers. Oh, okay. <laughs> all right. Let's see. So play audio. This one's kind of short. Welcome to Chapter 4 in Certification 5, your in-depth training on Maui Nui. In Chapter 1, we outlined why Maui Nui, the collective term for the islands of Maui, Molokai, and Lanai, is a great choice for first-time visitors to Hawaii, and why it holds equal appeal for those making a return visit. In Chapter 2, we explored some of the specific reasons why your clients will enjoy Maui Nui, including its signature attractions, events, and activities. We also talked about what makes these islands special in terms of their history and cultural importance. In this chapter, we'll look at how you can design unique vacation experiences for your clients based on their particular interests and objectives. We'll also offer suggestions for creating itineraries that will make the most of their time on these magical islands. So, let's get started. Once you've learned as much as possible about your clients' preferences and what they're seeking from their Maui Nui vacation, you have half of what you need to design a trip itinerary that will meet or exceed their expectations. The second half will come from your in-depth knowledge of what Maui Nui has to offer in terms of atmosphere, attractions, activities, and events. These thorough understandings of your clients' interests and of the destination are the tools that will make you an invaluable resource. In the following section, we'll offer some suggestions for creating itineraries geared for certain travel niches, romance, outdoor adventure, culture, arts, and culinary, and family. These suggested inclusions are based on what Maui Nui tourism experts have found are most popular with travelers in the various niches. Since your clients may not fit neatly into any of these categories, these are only general guidelines. You may want to draw from them in various combinations to build itineraries that more specifically fit the needs of individual clients. 
depending on your client's interests, you'll be able to put together the vacation that's right for them. You'll want to pre-book as many of these activities as possible for your clients, ensuring that you earn commissions and that they secure the space and dates they need. For a complete list of suppliers offering these experiences, be sure and visit agents.gohawaii.com. The following options are all readily available in Maui Nui. You'll find specific information on how and where to book these activities at agents.gohawaii.com. For couples seeking a romantic experience, Maui Nui is filled with options. Here are some that are sure to please. Maui Sunset Sail. Board a custom-crafted luxury catamaran to chase the sun as it sinks below the horizon. Along the way, couples can enjoy champagne and appetizers served from a teak bar. Oceanfront Luau. Maui is known for its luau, often held in spectacular oceanfront settings where coconut palms frame vivid sunsets. Typically, these evening events provide a delicious buffet of tempting local dishes and a relaxing evening of island music and dance performances under the stars. Couple Spa Treatment. Spa treatments designed especially for couples are among the signature offerings at many of the award-winning resort spas on Maui and Lanai. Sunrise at Haleakala's Summit. A pre-dawn drive to the summit of Haleakala brings the unforgettable chance to watch a glorious sunrise spread across Maui. The leisurely return drive down its slopes through the lush upcountry farm and ranch lands is enjoyable as well. Stargazing. Named the top hotel in the world for stargazing by CNN Travel, the Hyatt Regency Maui offers a rooftop couples-only activity called Romance Tour of the Stars. Through the aid of a giant telescope and an astronomer, couples learn to interpret the night skies while enjoying champagne and chocolate-dipped strawberries. To view stars from the ocean, try one of Pacific Whale Foundation's stargazing cruises that are accompanied by an astronomer, appetizers, and cocktails. From zip lining to trail rides, Maui Nui offers a wide assortment of both extreme and soft adventure experiences. Here are options your active clients won't want to miss. Zip lining. Maui offers a number of great zip line experiences, including the chance to combine a ride with a stop at a freshwater pond where participants can use stand up paddle boards, boogie boards, and a floating raft while enjoying sweeping views of the ocean below. Many rides soar above rainforest canopies, working cattle ranches, waterfalls, and deep valleys while providing gorgeous views along the way. Snorkel sails. Snorkeling excursions abound in Maui Nui, where waters brim with marine life, especially those surrounding Molokini, an islet off the South Maui coast. Horseback riding. All of the islands of Maui Nui offer opportunities for trail rides through scenic uplands. Among the places to experience these is Piiholo Ranch, a working cattle ranch in upcountry Maui that offers rides through forests and pasture lands with stunning views along the way. Day Tour to Hana. With its lush vegetation and waterfalls, Hana Highway is one of the most spectacular drives in the world. It truly offers something everyone should experience at least once. Stretching for 54 miles from Kahului to Hana, its many serpentine curves can take three to four hours to navigate while allowing for stops. If clients prefer not to drive themselves, you can book a tour for them or arrange for a private driver. Kayak Tours. Spotting whales and sea turtles while kayaking in ocean waters is a thrill not to be forgotten. On Maui, tours specialize in guided adventures in the waters off West and South Maui, where both experienced and novice kayakers will enjoy spectacular marine life and coastal scenery. Maui Nui, with its important sites devoted to history and the arts, is packed with opportunities for your culture-minded clients. Maui Hawaiian Village. Deep in an historic valley that's guarded by towering mountains, there is a cultural site of thatched hale, or shelters, where interpreters demonstrate poi pounding, kapa, cloth making, hula, and other traditional Hawaiian arts and practices. Outrigger Canoe Tour. Sail, snorkel, and paddle on a traditional outrigger canoe with experienced guides versed in Hawaiian history, culture, and navigation. Maui's Winery. Also known as Tadeshi Vineyards, Maui's winery is popular for its wines produced from grapes, pineapple, and raspberries. Along with wine tasting, visitors can also tour the guest cottage once belonging to King Kalaakaua, Hawaii's Merry Monarch, and enjoy the winery's bucolic upcountry ground shaded by 150-year-old trees. Luau. Maui offers some of the most authentic and enjoyable luau experiences in Hawaii.
Participants enjoy spectacular sunsets along with an evening of traditional foods, cocktails, music, and dance. Maui Theater's Ulalena, an evening show at the Maui Theater in Lahaina. Ulalena tells the story of Hawaiian history and culture through authentic music and dance. Maui Nui is filled with fun educational activities and attractions for families to share. Maui Ocean Center, engaging exhibits, including a 54-foot walkthrough tank, make this impressive aquarium on Ma'alaya Bay a great resource for families wanting to learn about Maui Nui's amazing marine life. Atlanta's Submarine Tour. Departing from Lahaina, passengers board 48 passenger submarines that delve 100 feet below the ocean surface. Through large portals, observers view marine life drawn to a shipwrecked 19th century vessel. Maui Tropical Plantation. This 60-acre agricultural theme park is filled with family-friendly diversions that include craft demonstrations and a tram ride through cane fields and orchards. Surfing Goat Dairy. Along with tasting the award-winning goat cheese and other products produced at this dairy farm in upcountry Maui, visitors can engage with the resident goats with such encounters as milking them. Surfing lessons. Several Maui companies provide enjoyable lessons in surfing and stand-up paddleboarding geared to kids and adults alike. Whoop. Did I miss something? Nope. Okay. Short. Short. All right. Takeaways. Pre-book activities for your clients to ensure they don't miss out on the experiences and that you maximize your revenue. That is a very, very important, just as a side note, to qualify your client with Hawaii. Um, a couple months ago, there were a lot of people asking, uh, they had clients in the uh, Facebook pages saying that they had clients asking to go to Hawaii, but they didn't know what they wanted to do, and they were asking for help. So qualifying your client with these islands is extremely, extremely important. Uh, sunset sales, couple spa treatments, and stargazing are among the great Maui options for romance travel. For your active clients, zip lining, kayaking, cycling, or and snorkeling sales are among the top recommendations. Authentic luau, island-produced wines, a cultural village, and outrigger canoe paddling will appeal to those with an interest in cultural and or culinary experiences. And families will enjoy activities that range from surfing lessons to submarine rides. That submarine ride seems pretty cool. Okay, quiz time. Let's see how we do. Okay. Which of the following is not an option for romance travelers on Maui? Stargazing tours, sunset sail, catamaran sail, sunrise viewing on Mount Halaakala, driving up Mount Tantalus at sunset. Which one was not an option for romance? I think it was the driving one. Was it letter D? D. It's D. Okay, awesome. Okay, so not romance, driving up the mountain at sunset. That makes sense because then you would have to come down in the dark, which would be terrifying. Okay, some zipline tours on Maui combine the activity with a dip in a freshwater pond. True or false? It's true. True. Okay. Okay. Clients with an interest in arts and culture can enjoy which of the following on Maui? Craft demonstrations, sunset luau, wine tasting, all of the above. That's all of the above. Yes. Like I said, I remember food. <laughs> <laughs> All right, which of the following is not a popular water activity on Maui? Submarine ride, river kayaking, outrigger canoe tour, surfing lessons. I think it's the river kayaking. You're right. Yes. Okay. All right, last question. 
Kids visiting the surfing goat dairy are not allowed to touch the goats. True or false? Kind of hard to milk a goat if you can't touch it. <laughs> yeah, I think it's kind of like a petting zoo too type thing, it it's, seemed. So okay. it's false. So it's false, yes. All right, 100%. Woohoo! Uh, everyone okay with the answers? Do we need to go back through it? Everyone good? I'm good. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna exit course. All right, so everybody then should be finished with Maui Nui. So we went through that one. And Christine said that the island of Hawaii, which is the last course here, um, has another four chapters. Is that correct? Is that what you said? Yes. Okay, so it is, what time is it now? It's 4.36 Eastern time, which makes it 1.36 Pacific time, something like that. Um, how are you guys feeling? Do you wanna push through the last island or do you wanna call it quits? Looks like it's just Christine and Stephanie. Um, so it, it's up to you guys. Oh, okay, we lost one. So it's up to Stephanie then, because I've already finished it. I just have the answers. Okay. Um, actually, I'll probably just stop on this one. This way I can, can actually go in and start the whole process and get it up to that point. <laughs> Okay. I have, by the looks of it, I have quite a few to go back through. <laughs> okay. All right. No problem. No problem whatsoever. So, okay. So we finished Maui Nui on uh, Saturday, July 17th. So I'm going to stop the recording here if I can.